since I'm not able to do the cutting and welding because I do not have the right equipment, I'm going to take this car to a panel beater. He's going to do everything. So right now I'm just going to take everything out. I'm going to leave the driver's seat on the car. I've taken everything completely out. The floor mat. The only thing that is left inside is the, the driver's seat. And the fenders, the bumper, and the grill is back on the car. Let's take this car to the workshop. Now I'm about to arrive at the panel beaters place. I'm really close, so let me let me make a short video because there's no traffic. See, this is the workshop. It is where the car will be panel beaten. We have arrived at the workshop. Now I'm going to strip the whole front apart again so that the panel beater can see what we're actually dealing with. Now that the fenders are removed, the affected part is now exposed. Now the plan is just to replace the driver's side. True that we must find a solid golf with no rust on the driver's side. I'm in the scrapyard looking for the quarter section of the golf. Unfortunately, at the scrapyard, we didn't find what we were looking for. But after three to four scrapyards, we finally found what we were looking for. And this is our donor. This is the floor that we'll be cutting. We're going to be cutting from somewhere from here, going there because you can see this floor is mint. Even this side, from somewhere over there, we're going to cut this this part. We are done cutting the quarter section. We are back at the workshop. There it is, the rust-free quarter section. This quarter section is rust-free. The other one has a bend on the leg. This one does not have a bend on the leg. It's still in a good condition. Even on the inside, as I showed, it's still in a best condition. All that is left to remove the dashboard and measure everything. Let's do it. The first thing to remove is the glove box. And after is the center console. All of the brackets from the sides. Everything below is going to be removed before I go to the top of the dashboard. I disconnected all the plugs and ensured that I break nothing and everything goes as planned. As now I'm left with the top part of the dashboard, it's time to remove that and remove the bracket in order to remove the full dashboard. To take out the dashboard is not really a big job and it's not really that much complicated and it is easy to do. This board is out and now everything is actually exposed. We can see the damage where it starts and where it ends. Now it's time to measure where we're going to cut this part or where the panel beater is going to cut and weld the new piece with no rust. Second thing that we need to remove is the engine. We need to remove the engine so that the panel beater will be able to have more space to cut the part that we don't need and will be able to weld the piece that we do need in a good way or in a professional way and have a free space to do so but now let's remove that engine we have got the engine pulley set up and ready to pull the engine out with a little bit of youtube magic the engine is out just like that we remove the doors the fenders the engine the whole front and ruby has started cutting this car he cut it from there going there uh, so this whole part is going to come out even here he removed also here he needs to also remove this part over here and it's like this whole section is going to come out and the whole floor is also going to come out and all of this is going to come out we're going to replace it with the one that we just cut at the scrapyard 
we're going to replace it with this one see this one is still in a perfect condition not really perfect but it's still in a great condition than that one the reason why we're not fixing the rust here is because as you can see from this part it is bent and the wheel the wheel it is not straight it was hitting the fender i don't know if i showed it but it was hitting the fender so so we're going to replace this whole part so that it won't hit the fender and the rust will be gone here's the door here's the bonnet and there is the engine fingers crossed everything goes well the way we think it should so if you haven't su subscribed make sure that you do so since we have removed the engine removed the dashboard we have measured and cutted the piece that we no longer need only thing that is left is to remove the quarter piece and it's out we are definitely at the point of no return this thing was damaged was rusted and can no longer go back on the car good readings i got rid of it here is the replacement already cut it to a point where it will be able to fit correctly anything that is left right now is just to prepare it to be welded then the piece is on the car and it is guaranteed because we're using co2 welding thing. Now the measuring part is complete. We are 100% sure that it's going to fit correctly. Now that the only thing that is left is to weld the piece to the car. To make the piece and the car to be as one. To be honest, I wasn't really sure about the decision that I made but now I have no regrets. I think everything is going to go as planned. I'm really excited to see the car back in one piece. And this time with no rust. Ruby wasted no time the CO2 and started welding the piece to the car. Now the piece and the car are as one. Now the only thing is to protect the part that we have welded so that there won't be any future rust. It looks like everything is falling into place. Bit by bit, the car is starting to look like itself or its original way that it should be. <laughs> to be honest, I'm starting to love this transformation. I was doubting the process, but now I see the vision and I see the goal. Tell me what you think in the comment section. Would you do the same to your rusted bucket car or would you just find a new body and then swap everything? Well, for me, I think this is the fastest way to remove the rust and probably make the car more healthy. But I think it all goes by choice and what you think is best suited for you. Now we got the sim sealer on and after the sim sealer is body filler. After the body filler, we're going to paint it with primer before we actually paint it with the actual paint of the car. Now the only thing that is left for us to do is to wait for the sim sealer to dry so that we'll be able to paint. Because we cannot paint on the sim sealer while it is not dry. We must wait for it to dry and it takes about one to two days to dry. So after two days, we painted the car and this is how it turns out. The engine bay has been painted. It looks good, but I think the color will not match the outside color. Look at the door and look at the inside. I don't know. Tell me what you think guys, do you like the transformation or uh, it's still the same or it looks the same? Just tell me what you think in the comment section, but this is the whole outcome. I don't know guys, tell me what you think. Should I paint the whole car or should I just paint the other part? Because I think it will show that it has two colors. If you look at this color and that color is a different color. So tell me what you think. Should I tell him to paint the whole car? Or should I just let it be the way it is? Should I tell him to paint it like that? Like this color? Because if you can see, look at this color and this color. 
they are totally different. Just take a good lens it. So it's a different color. So yeah, well, I don't know. Here's the difference. You can see this color and this color. This color and this color. They're, they're two different colors. But I don't know. This is like dark blue and this is light blue. It's, it's like he he will paint the the door and the fender because the wheel was hitting the fender. So he's going to paint that. It's not going to be the same color. It's going to be a different color. I'm not sure about it. So Yeah guys, but at least see it has no rust at this there's no rust anymore over here and so yeah I guess I'll, I'll just leave it like this um I'm still thinking if I should paint the whole car or what because I don't want a car with two colors like just look at this color in this color I love this one I hate this one and unfortunately we got this one and I do not like it it does not look the same so yeah I'm just going to leave the car as it is right now and I'm going to think about it I'm going to think about it I'm going to think about what decision should I take should I painting the whole car with this color which is not the color that I wanted because the color that I wanted was this one this one is that and this is not the same the next thing that we're going to do is install the engine install the dashboard and we're going to decide whether we're going to paint the whole car or leave it as it is so guys this is the last part of the video and Make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that like button and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.